Apple defends itself in federal court this morning against allegations it illegally tried to snuff out competition. A class action suit claims Apple software prevented iPods from playing music that wasn't bought on iTunes. The plaintiffs say consumers were forced to buy Apple's brand instead of cheaper rivals. The trial's star witness to Apple is Apple founder Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs died three years ago but will appear in recorded deposition. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is here. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Let's just start with what is Apple accused of specifically? Apple is accused of during a period between 2006 and 2009, which is ancient history in the world of technology, <laughs> that it created an iPod and it created iTunes and they matched. And what happened was if you bought that very expensive, wonderful iPod, you had to buy your music from iTunes. So what it's accused of in antitrust is pushing out competition, pushing it down, that you couldn't go to buy another music player and you couldn't go anywhere else to buy your music. And what are we expecting from this deposition from Steve Jobs three years after his death? Well, it's fascinating, Nora, because if Steve Jobs were alive, you might have a different story. What happens here is this. We know about depositions because we hear of them as a word in the law. You take depositions to get discovery. You want to learn facts about the lawsuit. But what does he but say? With Jobs, what you've got is trap the witness, put him in a position where he can't get out of it. And so Steve Jobs allegedly wrote emails, and they were pretty damning because in those emails, he is really saying, we're going to be the ones who are going to have this instrument and have this music. And I have to show you. I have my little iPod Nano. Yeah. I want to say it's a gift, so oh, I'm not a member. 1992. I, this, well, actually, it's probably <laughs> around 2006. It was a gift. I'm not a member of the class, but I love my iPod yeah. Nano, and iPod Nano is one of those machines. And Steve Jobs is someone who we are going to see come from the grave, and he's the star witness. How unusual is that, Ricky? It's have unusual for, for the star witness, mm -hmm. but the star witness here, we're going to learn about someone who is both charming. He's someone that we think is a genius. We admire him, but he was aggressive. He's right. looked at as a bully by the plaintiffs. But if they, if he did, and if Apple did what they say they did, is that necessarily a violation of antitrust law? No, not necessarily. If they had a legitimate business purpose, and they say their legitimate yeah. business purpose in making these i the iTunes software updates is for better security, a better product, right. and so they can show a legitimate business reason by what they did. Ultimately, that's probably why the case has not settled. Yeah. This is an old case. It was filed 10 years ago. I think you just raised a really good point. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll be watching. Thank, we'll you, be Ricky. Watching. Thank, Thank you, Ricky. Ricky.